In this presentation we're going to look at how to construct a matrix. Now in particular I'm going to use a 3x3 three three matrix. Later on I'm going to look at the identity matrix which a lot of people who have studied matrices in school might remember. And also I'm going to look at how to edit a matrix using the fix function. So first off I have a set of numbers here. I have a pre-made set of numbers that I've made already. Uh, 1 to 9. Okay. So now, I've actually picked that set of numbers uh, specifically, and I'm going to demonstrate why shortly. So the, I'm going to, to construct a matrix, I'm going to call my matrix mat1. And the command we use to construct a matrix is simply matrix. Now, I'm going to enter the set of numbers I want in my matrix. And now I'm going to specify the number of dimensions. So the number of rows, I want to have a 3x3 um, a three three matrix, and the number of columns. Okay. Uh, number of rows is 3, number of columns is 3. Now actually we don't need to specify both. We only really need to specify one or the other because R can figure out that if it's 3 rows that means it must be 3 columns. So I'm just going to have it as n row equals 3. The number of rows equals 3. And I'm going to hit return there see what we get. So matrix 1. Now I want to draw your attention to the fact that it has assigned the first 3 values along the first column, it has assigned the next three values along the second column and so on. The last three values are in the third column. Now I did that deliberately because suppose we wanted to have them assigned by row rather than by column. We actually have to specify an extra argument. So the argument is by row equals true. And let's have a look at our matrix now. Here we have it now, one, two, three. The, fir the, the first three uh, values are in the top row rather than the first column. Okay, so that is how we will construct a matrix. Now, a s the second thing we're going to do now is look at the identity matrix. Now, I'm going to do a, use a very different approach this time. I'm going to call this matrix two, and the command I'm going to use is diag. Now I want to have a 3x3 three three identity matrix, so the argument I'm going to use is simply 3. Now let's hit return there, and matrix 2, there we have it, I'm just going to scroll down here for a second. So we have our identity matrix here, just to, just to confirm it is, the identity matrix is 1, values of 1 along the, the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. And that's how we might construct a identity matrix. Now suppose I want to edit my matrix. I'm going to edit this matrix too. So the command I'm going to use is called fix. MA2 mat2. There we are. Now this is going to bring up a, a data editor. I'll just draw your attention to that data editor. Now I'm going to, let's suppose I want to have the values in the 2, minus 1 and 3. Suppose that's what I really want in my matrix. So I'm just going to shut this down now. I have to find the button to shut it down. There we go. And let's have a look at it again. Matrix 2. Perfect.